Hi everyone, I'm back. I actually just flew in from California um, this morning at around 7 a.m. It's now 7 p.m. I'm a little bit tired. Um, I took a red eye, so I'm back though, and I just got done doing like a weekly plan session. I, I didn't film it. It's just what I've been doing. So I haven't been able to really plan while I was back home in California. I was really busy with my family. I had a really good time. It was really fun. Um, I just really enjoyed it. Uh, and I'm honestly sad to be back. And anyways, that's just personal stuff. Um, but yeah, so I just finished doing this plan with plan. I just finished planning for the week. I'm actually starting my new job tomorrow. So it's very exciting. Um, and before I left, I actually ordered this two weeks ago. This is from Amazon. I ordered this, I've been wanting this for a while now, but I ordered this because on Amazon, this was only $60. Um, normally on the Final Facts website, this for the US store, this is over $100. So, I thought it was a good deal. Um, it had said that this was the 2019 edition, so the inserts were going to be 2019. Um, but I found that when I opened it, I actually opened it before I left, so that's why I don't really have an unboxing. Um, when I opened it, the inserts are actually not 2019, but they are 2021. Um, or I mean 2022, so I can technically still use the last few months of the weeks. Um, that's the only one that they have. They don't have any weekly. I mean, the only inserts that they included was the monthly, I mean the weekly, um, and obviously like these extra pages, but um, I thought it was a really good deal and I thought it was perfect for work. Uh, I, like I just said, I am starting a new job and I think this is very professional and very, um, it just looks really good. I like the size I've been, in a personal size planner before. Uh, I just stopped using it about three, four years, four years ago maybe. I just, it just wasn't working for me, but I feel like it's a really good size now. Um, so yeah, I am very excited about this uh, Filofax and I'm gonna start setting it up and I'd love to share that with you. Um, I'll probably do that off camera, but I'll show it to you after, but this is the Filofax personal size in the patent nude, and it is amazing. It is a lot stiffer than I expected. I'm sorry for the weird angle. I don't, I'm just filling it kind of roughly because I was so excited. Um, but yeah, this is really, really nice. I'm very excited to start using this for work. Um, so I'm going to set it up. I have a lot of inserts that I've had before pre-printed. I have that ad I printed around a long time ago and I also have like dividers. So I'm really excited to share this with you. I think this is going to be a great addition to work. Um, yeah, so and I'm still going strong, obviously, in my everyday carry. I don't know if I'm going to continue. I'll, I'll probably still use this, but yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I currently took out um, some, sorry for the weird filming situation, but I currently took out some um, of the inserts that I will not be using. And this is the ones that I, these are the ones that I have so far in here, very thin. I guess I should have shared what was included. Um, they have an insert. I think it was a really good deal on Amazon. Um, the inserts, I'm not going to use all of them, especially since it's in the middle of 2022, or we're almost done with 2022, but they did include a bunch of good, useful inserts. One of my favorite inserts is actually this one from Filofax. I love this insert. So they included a good chunk, a few pages of it. Not a good chunk, but they did include a few chunks of like line paper, um, graph paper, 
blank paper, notes pages, and obviously these colored notebook note pages I personally do not like. Um, it's just really hard on my eyes. Um, yeah, and this is, I just wanted to share real quickly, this is kind of how I store my inserts. Um, I have a different container for my pocket inserts in like a little bin. I keep, keep it way more organized because I used to, I'm very much still a pocket planner. Um, but this houses all of my A6 size inserts and personal size inserts that I've had printed from before or like inserts that I purchased from cloth and paper. So I'm excited to pull these out and I'm going to put them in. I just wanted to share. I'll, I'll the next video, I promise, I'll share like the exact. <laughs> I'll just do a quick flip through, but I just wanted to share how I store some of my inserts. Hello. It's actually the next day. Um, I didn't get a chance to really finish it up this planner, but now I have. Um, I should have taken it to my first day today, but I did not. So that was unfortunate, but I'm excited to take it tomorrow. It's very functional. I, I like it so far. Um, so I'm just gonna share with you what I had planned for this planner. And once again, this is the Filofax Personal in the color Patent Nude. Um, and I love it so far. It's very thin. I don't want to chunk it up so much. Um, I want to keep it very simple and I don't want a lot of decor or anything like that to distract since this is going to be a strictly work planner. So this is the plans that I have. It's very simple. Um, so I'll just get into it really quickly. This is the inside. Um, I haven't figured out what I want to use for the side of this planner yet, but I am going to. I'm going to be watching some YouTube videos and seeing what I like to keep it as simple but still look nice for me to open into. And this is the first page. I just have the Filofax, um, I don't know, sheet protector? What is this called? Dashboard on here. And I have the morning mindset insert, half insert from cloth and paper. And acetate I think I purchased it somewhere on Etsy I have no idea what where this is the first divider these are my dividers I've decided I used to have stickers on them in my first um, personal notebook but I decided actually to just rip them out I want it very simple I already know what I want on here I just don't want any words to distract right now so I decided to take them off and these are from my plan my way shop and they're very durable I've had them for a few years now I have layered it with some uh, vellum. This is also from cloth and, paper, cloth and paper. Most of my dashboards are from cloth and paper in this one. Again, because cloth and paper is super simple and very nice and it often discusses the, about, like, the importance of hard work and stuff. So I've layered it here. And the first section of my planner is going to be like a brain dump inbox where I can list out everything that I need to do and organize it within that um, this divider. So this is currently what I need to do now. I think this was a freebie insert. I'm not sure where I got this from though. I'll try to figure it out. And that's all I have so far. I just have a bunch of inserts, um, like a to-do insert so that I can use whenever I need to or whenever the time comes and I have some extra in here. These are the Five Effects inserts. And oh, just to add, like I said, I purchased this off Amazon, this entire Filofax planner. And I had mentioned that it was a lot cheaper than um, buying this on the actual Filofax website. I got this for $60 instead of uh, the original. I think it's like that when you buy, what it's over $100 on the Filofax website. So the reason why is I noticed that the inserts that they included into this binder were all mixing, were mixed and matched. It wasn't 2022. Some of them were 2022, some of them were 2018. I mean, 2020, 2018, um, et cetera. For example, this one was a 2019 insert that was included. So that is why it was priced a little bit cheaper, which I don't mind at all. Then my second um, divider is for my monthly another cloth and paper dashboard. This was included. It's just the year at a glance. And these are currently my monthlies. These are from Peanuts Planner Co. I just already had them printed out from my stash, so I decided to just use them. This is my current 
how I have it so far. So the month on one page. Super simple. The second section, second um, divider is my weeklies, and this is where I'll be referring to the most. Um, I decided to use the inserts that was included, uh, which is the that was included with this binder, so I can just get used to it. Sorry, it's kind of hard to film, but this is how I have it, how I'm planning it so far. It'll definitely change right now if this is just how I have it but it'll change as I figure out what more I need to do, like as I get more used to my job. Those are the inserts. Then my set third, I mean fourth section is the, um, um, sorry, the daily pages. I, I just have a few daily page inserts. I haven't used this yet, but I'll use them as needed. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. Freebie, and this is a simple and trendy co. Insert, I believe. Then the next, um, the second to last divider is just going to be random inserts that I feel like are going to be useful to me. Cloth and paper um, dashboard. This is just my weekly schedule, so I decided I'll just have it here um, just for me to reference. I also have some meal planner inserts because I'm planning to t pack my lunch to work every day so I can reduce eating out and stuff like that. So that's what I have here and this was also a freebie I have these sitting in my already pre-cut and pre-hole punched in my stash so I'm not really sure where I got them but they're very useful and also I have another task management insert from Peanuts Planner Co. and then the last divider is actually different types of note pages as you can see here I said that what I need is a lot of note pages and that's what I intend to use this for for like for me to scribble down whatever I need to remember and I can migrate it over to the previous dividers but this is really just for me to use for work I need to scribble down quick information I can rip it out and throw it out and that's what it's for um so that's just a bunch um I'm I have some dividers I have some private information in here but this is the this is just a folder insert from cloth and paper here I have, um, hold on, ah, this is just a insert for, um, shoot, I'll have to X this out. Okay, okay, so this insert is just the cloth and paper, um, but here I have, I have, something in the back that I can't really show and this is I'm filming with one hand so it's a little difficult but um, this insert is just a top loading pocket from Filofax I had it sitting around the next insert is actually the card holder insert um, I have two business cards in there for people who I can contact at my new workplace and I decided to just keep their business cards on there and that's the business cards um, and here is my last insert it's on a this is a um, page flag, I don't know, I think that's what it's called, page flag divider that I had from a long time ago and I just put stuck on some random post-it sticky notes. And here I've decided to keep the notepad for, again, whenever I need to scribble down a phone number or something, whatever. But yeah, that's what I have so far. I really like it. I'm gonna continue to watch some more videos on how I can, should decorate this section by keeping it simple and also watching videos on like simple, minimal, um, personal size planning. Um, and if you have any recommendations, please let me know. But yeah, this is what I have so far and I'll definitely keep you updated. I love it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely week. Bye.